Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 54 in chapter 10. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. We can see we have a thin road. The length is given and the mass is given. It, wrote, it began to fall down. Initially, it is there. Finally, it is there. Agree? And then we consider the counterclockwise as a positive direction. So it will fall down. Now we need to determine the angle at velocity of the road as a function of angle phi. So how can we do that? First one, we consider the torque for this system. For torque for this system, we can see the force acting on the torque is only the gravity. Agree? And gravity. Now the next question is this torque caused by the gravity, the distance from the force with the rotation axis is this one. Agree? So this learns how much? We can see this is a phi. This one is phi. And this is a L divided by 2. So of course, this is L divided by 2 times a cosine phi. Agree? So the torque is mg times L divided by 2 cosine phi. And there, it is negative sign. Is tell us the direction for this uh, torque because we consider counterclockwise as positive. The fall down, so negative. Ne next one, this torque must equal to I times alpha, I momentum of erasure, alpha angular acceleration. The next one, we can consider the I momentum of erasure for this load for with one end. You can check your textbook, it's 1 over 3 ml square. Now, alpha, angular acceleration. It told us we need to find angular velocity as a function of phi. So there we know the angular acceleration is d omega dt, right? But we need to bring the phi inside, so we do a small trick. So we have d omega d phi d phi dt. Now you can see d phi divided by dt is just the omega, agree? So alpha equal to this one. Omega times d omega d phi. So in this one, we only have two variables, omega and phi. Now we input the i and alpha inside, we get this function. And this function, we can simplify it, looks like this one. And then we do the integral at both sides. So we write it this way and do integral at both sides. We can see for the phi, initially it is uh, pi over 2, right? Finally, it's phi. And initially, omega is 0, finally it's omega. And solve this equation, we get the function. This is just exactly the function angular velocity as a function of angle phi. The next one asks us to find the speed uh, of the tip of the road. So there, the velocity v. When it just before it hit the table, right? So that means if we want to find the V, linear velocity, it is L times omega. So we need to find angular velocity just before this road has a table. It looks like when it, ha it has a table, phi equal to zero. Do you agree? If phi equal to zero, we get the angular velocity at this moment. And this moment, omega is get U times L. So you get the final linear speed, the road, just before it hits a table. Thank you.